geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... A model to help understand electrolysis. We know from our electrolysis video that electrolysis uses this apparatus with two carbon electrodes. And when placed in an electrolytic solution, such as copper chloride solution, when we turn the electrical current on, the lamp will light because at the cathode, positively charged cations are attracted to the negatively charged cathode. And at the anode, negatively charged anions are attracted to the positively charged anode. But how can I easily remember all of this? Let's start with two people, Kath and Anne. Kath is a very negative person, whereas Anne is a very positive person. Kath and Anne sit in a pool, which, if it was water, would not allow electricity to flow through it. But if they sat in copper chloride solution, an electrical current would be able to flow. Let's take a closer look into the pool so we can see how the process of electrolysis works. Kath, although negative, likes cats, loves cats. To trap cats, Kath offers fish, which makes the cats attract to Kath, but not in the air like this, but instead in the electrolytic solution. If we now study the cat, which is also known as a pussy, or a plussy, because it is plusative, or pussytive, or positive, the cat is therefore attracted to the negative. The cat has a positive charge and is actually called a cation, which is attracted to the negative, which is cath. But cath is actually the cathode, the cathode being the negatively charged electrode. That's amazing! So instead of cath attracting cats by giving out fish, which does not happen, the negative cathode gives out electrons, which the positively charged cations are attracted by. In copper chloride solution, the copper is the cation with a 2 plus charge, which we could show with the cat ears. So in our model, the copper cations are attracted to the cathode, resulting in a skirt forming on the cathode, this consisting of solid copper. Wow! But what happens with Anne? We know that Anne is the positively charged electrode, called the anode, and attracted to the anode are the negative ions called anions. But how can I remember that? Anne likes onions. They go to her when she eats them, and if you smell an onion, they can make you cry. When studying our copper chloride solution, this helps us understand about the chloride, because Anne, really the anode, is positive, and onions go to Anne and can make Anne cry, which is negative, and the negative ion is attracted to the anode, this ion called an anion. So the negatively charged anions in our solution are attracted to the positively charged anode, and with this being copper chloride solution, the chloride ions are the anions, which then bond to form chlorine gas. Chlorine made from chloride anions, which sounds like onions, and chlorine can make you cry, as onions can. The chlorine is made from the chloride anions, these each having a single negative charge, and two of these anions will bond together to make a covalent molecule of chlorine. That's amazing! How I can easily remember all of this is, Kath and Anne are sat in a pool of copper chloride solution. But if we do not turn the electricity on, the bulb will not light, because we only have a mixture a solution with positive cations and negative anions dissolved in water. But if we turn the current on, the positively charged copper cations will attract to the negatively charged cathode, and the negatively charged chloride ions will attract to the positively charged anode, like this, resulting in us extracting solid copper and chlorine gas from copper chloride, us extracting solid copper and chlorine gas. Wow! Please subscribe to my channel Bye!